What's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is actually gonna be posted on both my YouTube and my IGTV account. So if you follow me on Instagram or YouTube and you're seeing this video, you're gonna hear about my experience I had at the Sailor Moon pop-up dessert bar at Fancy Pops in Houston. Now if you're not familiar with Fancy Pops, they are a really dope ice cream dessert bar spot right here in Houston, Texas in the Bel Air area, Chinatown area. If you're not familiar, I will drop the link in the description and also the address on the screen in the description as well. So guys, check it out. If you're ever in Houston, if you ever touch down in Houston or you live in Houston, swing by there and tell them that I sent you, all right? But this video is gonna be about the Sailor Moon pop-up and I'm super excited to share you guys, share with you guys my experience with this particular event. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about my experience at this pop-up. So number one, I have to keep correcting myself because for some reason I always wanna call this place Fancy Pops when I know good and well the place is called pop fancy i don't know i'm gonna put the logo up on the screen so you guys i can remind myself this place is called pop fancy not fancy pops <laughs> but anyway my experience at the pop-up so just to kind of give you guys context i went on a saturday i went on the weekend you know that, that was a day that i had off from work so i was able to pull up on a saturday and i'm gonna give you guys this word this is my philosophy when it comes to events like this whether it's a pop-up or just an event that has a lot of traffic right i like i like to be stress-free when it comes to these things i don't like fighting for parking i don't like a lot of traffic so i took an uber or a lyft and i recommend that you guys do the same thing if you can when you go to this because Finding parking in a high traffic area is, is stressful. I, 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 I don't enjoy it. Like anytime I go to like a concert or anything like that, I always just take an Uber or Lyft because I just don't want to fight for a parking space or circle around the block or I don't want to go in a parking garage. I don't want to do that. So save yourself the headache if you can and take an Uber or Lyft directly to the venue and you should be okay. But if you do decide to drive, just be aware that if you go on the weekend, traffic is a thing. So just got to put that out there. So when we pulled up, I got there on time and I had a reservation because if you go on the Pop Fancy website, it gives you the option and it redirects you to an event bright page where you can kind of reserve your slot. Now, from my understanding, with that slot, it allows you to have a dedicated line for those who have reservations. But when I got there, uh, they told me like, hey, you gotta get to the back of the line. I'm like, well, I have a reservation. They still told me to get in the back. So, and I heard kind of people chattering in line like, hey, what's the point of having a reservation if you can't skip the line? I got that, but to their credit, to their credit, they did get us in pretty quickly. So I wasn't outside for like a long period of time because you know, in Texas heat and humidity, that is not a good experience. So I am happy they were able to kind of get us in at a very uh, at a very quick rate. You know, it wasn't like we were standing outside for 20 minutes. Nah, we were probably out there for like maybe five, 10 minutes at the most. Um, so when, we, when you get in, you're greeted by the staff, of course. Everybody has their cosplay and it's great. And then when you look to your left, you see like these statues that has, you know, all this all the sailor scouts in their outfits. And they kind of put on like a light show with the music playing. And if you look behind like where the uh, where the staff is like kind of making the desserts, you see like the anime playing in the background. You have like different clips from the anime playing and you have the music going. And it's a really it, it was a really surreal experience. I love what they've done to decorate for this. I love what they did with the place. It looks great. I love the the props that they had. I like the fact that everybody was in cosplay. It was a it was an experience. It was definitely an experience. Now, in terms of the desserts, they were delicious. I'm gonna put what I had in the description and also on the screen. So if you guys ever decide to go to this pop up, uh, you can kind of use this as a reference. But I'm gonna tell you what I got was fantastic. Um, I can't remember the name of the drink exactly, but I do remember the heart attack pink waffles and that when i tell you that is like god tier when it comes to desserts it was so good and guys i'm not a big dessert guy i don't really order dessert when i go out that much but this was totally worth it so if you do go to the sailor moon pop-up make sure that you at least get the heart attack pink waffles they were fantastic um as far as the merchandise so one thing i will say about this particular pop-up it was the place is not that big but the amount of people that was in that shop 
it was almost like shoulder to shoulder. So unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to really, really dig deep into the merchandise that they have because there were just so many people and I'm a big dude. So me being in a cramped space is not a good situation, right? But I was able to grab a couple things, which I am going to show off to you guys later in the video. Um, but I didn't want to be rude to other people. So I didn't, I didn't want to just stand in one spot and just filmed and I didn't want to just like stand there and just hold people up because I know people want to grab their stuff and go. So I wanted to kind of be mindful of other people around me. So I didn't really stand in one spot going through racks and racks of hoodies and t-shirts. I, I got to see a couple of them but again i don't want to be rude to other people who are looking to who knew what they wanted to get so i ended up with a couple things i guess i'll show off the merchandise that i picked up here the number one thing i got i got this awesome figure um as you guys see they had every <laughs> every sailor scout up there but i just decided to go with this one because i just love the aesthetic the the big head the eyes the i just love how this looks so this is definitely going to be in the backdrop of most of my videos you've probably seen it in the beginning um, I also got a plush, like a little small $10 plushie. I definitely wanted to get that for my backpack. And I also got, so I'm trying to think, what else did I pick up while I was there? That was it. Yeah, that was it. I only got two items while I was there. I also wanted to show off these 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 yen dollars that my friend Raymond got me. Uh, I did not get this at the event, but I just thought it'd be cool to show off for the video. Uh, he heard I was going to the pop-up, so he said, hey, I'm going to give you this, you know, have fun. And it was a bunch of gold-plated Sailor Moon-themed yen dollars they're not real currency but they look cool right um but yeah that that pretty much wraps up everything man overall if you're in the houston area make sure you swing by pop fancy and make sure that you tell them i sent you and have a great time yo like i'm gonna put all the links in the description and you guys can kind of check it out for yourself and just pull up man and have a good time all right Again, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you for taking some time out to watch this video and just rock it with me and just supporting the content. If you like what you see here on YouTube, feel free to leave a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, interact. I respond to everybody. You guys know that. So just drop a comment and we can interact. And if you went to the experience, let me know. Um, and if you like what you see here, make sure you subscribe. And if you're watching this on IGTV, uh, make sure you hit that follow button so you can keep up with everything that I'm doing on various platforms. All right. With that being said, guys, enjoy the rest of your night and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.